Oh boy, get ready. Here comes the brutalness of DW. Guys, what a piece of crap the new DJI FPV drone is. Do not let these this company convince you that it is a good starter drone. Don't let Rotor Riot convince you it's a good starter drone. I'm sorry I disagree with 90% of what Rotor Riot said. I think the only person really being honest here and putting things in true perspective is probably Josh Bardwell. Though he's not completely crapping all over the review, he's also being very honest with you. Um, I gotta say, man, this thing, if you're a real FPV pilot, this thing is a joke to real FPV pilots. Any of you considering buying this, thinking that this is your way into FPV, you are sorely mistaken. You are overspending. It is a gigantic turd. It only really, like, I, I tried to sit last night and, and think about anything you could really use this for, and the only thing I could come up with is, in my mind, what they've created is more like just a souped-up Corvette version of a Mavic. That's what it is. To access full acro mode, you got to go out of your way. And, and let me tell you something. FPV is all about crashing. That's what it is. It's about crashing, smashing, bashing, rebuilding, flying. That's what it is. You're not doing any of those things with this drone. One simplistic little hit, and it's done. It's done. Congratulations. Good job. You can build something like this. For $180. This takes 4S. This will fly at 70, 80 miles an hour, no problem. Has an HD camera built into the front of it. And if I don't like the stability of the footage, then I just download the real study software and add it to this. DJI, if you wanted to create something for the FPV people, you should have created a sin whoop. That is my opinion. You guys should have put time and effort into creating some kind of sin whoop. This is not a sin whoop. This is like entry-level junk that you produced. I'm really surprised that Rotor Riot is even pushing this thing in any kind of aspect. That just put put me way off of Rotor Riot right now. Guys, there are way cheaper methods to get into real FPV. You're going to smash, you're going to crash. The difference is I crashed this thing seven times yesterday. Seven times. You know what I replaced on it? Props, because that's normally what we replace when we crash, because these things are built like tanks. Look, carbon fiber, carbon fiber, steel plates, carbon fiber, steel plates, DJI FPV drone, plastic, one crash, out the window. Don't kid yourself, people. Don't sit here and fool yourself and think this is a good drone from DJI. This is an absolute entry-level piece of crap that... One little hit will kill. Instantly. One hit. That, if you guys watched Bardwell's video, that crash he had was like minimal at best in the FPV world. That was a very tiny, simple little crash. It not only destroyed the arm, broke the gimbal and camera as well with one tiny hit. All of you thinking you're going to buy this, like, oh, cool, I could go 60 miles an hour in sport mode. I'm flying FPV. You're not. Don't kid yourself and spend the money on this thing. It's insane for the price point. This is to be used for very specific shots, and I still think those shots can be better done in real FPV with real acro active. If Look, kids, all I'm saying is... It's extremely overpriced. It's not a real FPV drone in my eyes because it can't take the hits or the pounding like real race quads can, real freestyle quads, real cinematic whoops. It just can't. It can't. It cannot do those things. Please don't fool yourself into thinking that this can do that type of stuff. It cannot. One crash and this thing is toast. Toast. It's toast. Don't spend that kind of... Dude, there are mul multitude of pilots out there willing to help anyone that wants to get into FPV and make it simple for you. Don't do this to yourself, man. Unless you have a real specific need to buy this drone, I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't do it. Regardless of what Rotor Riot or any of those people are telling you, okay? If you want to know why Rotor Riot's pushing it, think about who they're connected with. They got bought out. They're part affiliation in some way with DJI. Of course they're going to push this thing, knowing what they know. These pilots aren't... I don't care how... Listen, I don't care how silky smooth the footage is, okay? 
If you've ever seen a real Cinewhoop do its thing, silky smooth, bro. Silky freaking smooth. If you've seen a real Cinewhoop do its thing with with uh, real steady active afterwards, super smooth. Just look it up. Google it. YouTube it for yourself. Cinewhoop, real steady. Watch any one of those videos. I put it on par with anything that's out there. Don't do this to yourself. Guys, this is me being 100% honest with you. It is not a real FPV rig. They know you're going to crash. This is their opportunity to make a ton of money. I don't even know why they made this thing. To be honest with you, I have no idea. I really don't. It is a souped up Corvette version of a Mavic. That's what it is. It can't take any hard punishment in the slightest. I wouldn't even buy it because I know that if I activate Acro, I can't just replace an arm or a motor or whatever when it breaks. I have to replace the entire uh, shell and then figure out, send it to DJI, blah, 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 blah. No way. I would never, ever, ever even partially consider doing something like that to myself. I'm being honest with you, from an FPV pilot to you guys, I'm being 100 with you. Don't waste your money. Save your money. Or talk to some FPV people. Join some FPV groups. Get in there on Facebook. Talk to people. Find out what it takes. There are so many cheaper ways to get into this and build structural integrity quads that can take punishment that can take some serious punishment and still supply you with incredible footage don't do this to yourself don't